In this week's how-to, I'll show you the optimum way to set up your kettle barbecue for low and slow cooking. The humble kettle barbecue. Many a barbecue enthusiast journey has begun with one of these. They are fantastic all-rounders for grilling, but you can also smoke on them as well. And I'm gonna show you the optimum way to set this up to smoke low and slow. So we're gonna use what's called the snake method. Now this means that we have briquettes going around the perimeter of the barbecue. So you'll have the meat over here on the indirect side. And then here where your heat is, you will have a few coals to start the snake here and then it's just going to burn around slowly around the perimeter. You'll have your wood chunks or wood chips or whatever you're using on top. And it's a great way to set up for low and slow on your kettle barbecue. So let's show you how we do it. Now, briquettes are generally recommended for the snake method just because they're kind of uniform in shape. It's easier to get a nice uniform snake around the edges of your barbecue. I have done it before with lump wood charcoal. You can do it with lump wood. You just want to make sure that you pack it nice and tightly around the perimeter so there's no big gaps because what you don't want to happen is that it to hit, hit a gap and the temperature's just going to drop and it's not going to carry on burning around. With briquettes you can get a nice uniform snake nicely packed in and I'm going to show you how we do that. So what we do is take our briquettes and just start stacking them nice and tightly around the perimeter like so. You want them nice and compact and close together so when they burn through the next lot catch. So you just build it around like so. So as you can see, we're setting up a nice snake shape around the perimeter. You can go two wide, three wide. We're gonna put more on top as well, but we're just gonna keep going around at the minute, making sure they're nice and tightly packed. You can see it's, it's fairly easy. It obviously takes a little bit longer than, than just dumping in a load of charcoal, but we want a nice longer burn. So again, just pack them in nice and neat. And it really is as easy as that. So all we'll do now is just take a handful of lick holes, put them at this end so it starts the chain, starts the snake, and that's going to burn around. If you start to run out towards the end, you can obviously put more charcoal around so it can just continue to burn and then you move the meat over this side and let it burn around this way. Depends how long your cook's going to be for really. Obviously, if you want to get some smoke on your meat, then just take some wood chunks and just dot those in around the way and they're just going to catch as and when it burns around the snake. So that's my how-to this week. I hope you found it useful. It's a great introduction into the world of smoking and low and slow cooking without having to go out and spend hundreds of pounds on a dedicated smoker. Have a play around with your kettle barbecue, learn your temperatures, learn how to fire acts, learn how your meat reacts to different temperatures, different cooking temperatures, learn air control. It really is a great way to learn and will put you on the path to greatness. Hope you found this useful. See you next week.